and welcome to another brand new episode of Trending Issues on social media. And of course, uh, I'll run with you the highlights of today. And we have hashtag uh, Mr. Biggs, hashtag CCECC, uh, that's the Chinese, China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation. And also we have stories on Instagram, uh, Lade, Rino Omokri, and Bono Boy. Also, uh, uh, today on Buzz Goes, uh, we have something from a Twitter influencer. We'll talk more on that when we come back after this break. Let today be the first and last day you ever step your feet in my community to convert my people. Is that why you came into the house of God? The house of God, my foot, you idiot! Be warned because I will destroy you! Be warned! <laughs> I want to go. You can go. The gate is locked. How do you come? I appeared. Or you disappeared? Hello and welcome back and of course uh, my name is Precious Chukudi. How are we guiding you on this journey of what's trending on social media? Well Mr. Bix is trending, that's the first one trending and of course I don't know if you remember like when we were growing up uh, a lot of us we would say oh mommy wants to eat Mr. Bix and they will take you to that Mr. Bix spot where so you can buy chicken, you know, rice even though you eat rice at home, it's always like Mr. Big's rice is different and their chicken as well. And so, some people on Twitter decided to recount their experience of what it feels like or what they used to have uh, and when they used to have uh, Mr. Big's uh, uh, food. And so that's what's trending on Twitter. And uh, you know, there's still a lot of debate on how uh, Mr. Big still has the sweetest meat pie till now. Well, if you've tasted Mr. Beast's uh, meat pie, you can also attest to the fact that, well, they still have the very best of, you know, sweet meat pies. And I'll take uh, this one from B the Flog, and it says that gone are the days when Mr. Big's Super Striker was a thing in primary and secondary schools in Nigeria. Uh, Texaco Filling Station and Mr. Big's were the popular outlets uh, to get any issues of uh, uh, Super Striker. And uh, aside the uh, Shegs and Kazim, which other SS player can you remember? Yes, I used to remember those days when we would uh, get a Super Striker and we read the comic book. Like I used to follow, up, I used to really be interested in all the uh, cartoons that you know you see on the Super Striker book. Uh, so we'll take this one from Doctor Pam Pam and it says that uh, Mr. Big Smith pie every Sunday after church. Man, like. I'm not even talking of church, I'm talking of every time someone asks you, ah, I don't get Mr. Big Smith but it's like they just warn your heart. Like, uh, this one is from Omar Kito, and she says that everybody is talking about their childhood with Mr. Biggs, uh, but I can't relate because Naya Unitu, we are all Mr. Biggs. <laughs> this is really funny. Come on, girl, you never had Mr. Biggs. Uh uh, don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, this is from Maurice Moyer Factor, and he says that. Uh, Mr. Big Smith Pie of the 90s still remains my great, the greatest Smith Pie in Nigerian history. Yeah, I mean, if people on Twitter are attesting the fact that this Mr. Big Smith Pie is still the greatest, then there is no, I don't know, we need to find that their recipe. I think we need to find that recipe and then, you know, see what it is. And uh, this one is from Duchess Naomi. And she says, our last born whenever my mom comes to pick us from boarding school and she drives past Mr. Biggs on her way, on her way home, uh, that's uh, there's a, a DJ Khalid image showing that uh, last one is not so happy about that, you know. And this one is from uh, Shawnee Fair, and uh, he says, uh, How Mr. Bix went from being our favorite restaurant with the best meat pie years ago to being just a direction now. 
uh, time about when you see that Mr. Big Stone left is something that still confuses me. And that's the truth. Like, um, it's a brand, it was a, it was a strong brand, and um, you know, people would always go to, but even till now, some people still would confuse some um, restaurants and say, ah, maybe go Mr. Big's now, you know, that kind of thing. But then, you know, now people use Mr. Big as a direction. Maybe read that Mr. Big's bus stop, just turn left, turn right, you know, that kind of thing. Well, uh, we'll take uh, uh, the Mr. That's all we have on the Mr. Big's uh, tweet. And uh, you know, if you had any interesting experience with Mr. Big, uh, let us know in the comment section. I heard somebody said that that was her, uh, the, the place they proposed to her one time. That's some years back, and it's it's a cool experience. We we'll take this one from hashtag CCECC trending and that's the China Civil Engineering Corpora um, Construction Corporation and why are they trending? Okay, so it turns out that the um, Minister of Health, uh, Dr. Sagi Haniri, has been telling journalists to stop asking him about the whereabouts of these Chinese uh, doctors that came to the country about a month ago. Like, about I just said about two months ago, I reminded me of one of his kids on, on social media. But then, uh, you know, people have, have been talking like, I mean, these people came into the country, and I remember that you were telling us that they came to give us uh, ideas on how to, you know, how they've been able to curb COVID 19 in their country. And now they're saying you don't know their whereabouts. Like, really? Let's see what other people are saying on Twitter. Uh, this is from Mopo. He says, so staff of CCECC were snuck into Nigeria after the lockdown uh, disguised as Chinese doctor coming to fight COVID. Uh, the same CCECC that was banned from banned by World Bank recently for fraud. Mm. And uh, this one is uh, Mazi tell me, and he says CCECC have finally brought, have finally bought the country from me. Let me relocate to Lekki as a big, as a Igbo boy. I am forgetting Kogi people. Okay, so this one is from Totsu, and he says, I think not all of them were doctors, and I heard that some of them are technicians, but they are staffs of CCECC, uh, said by Minister of Health. So CCECC used you guys to bring in their staff than Chinese doctors that that they needed after the government had shut borders. I am ashamed for you. Uh, this is from Monsurat Olatunji. She says, uh, suppose Chinese doctors import, imported in Nigeria a month ago, they are nowhere near any health center or in talk on any health related topic. And uh, she said, health minister says they are CC, ECC workers, illegal Chinese miners arrested in Ocean Oshun and Zafar last week, just thinking out loud. Well, we really don't know. And um, I'll take this one from Victor J. Anderson. And he says, I concur. How can you say CCECC brought, brought them when everything was already under lockdown? Nigerians were told they came to help the country. They paraded them like gifts from China and told us good stuff about them. So it's, it's wrong to defend them on this. Uh, CCECC don't own Nigeria, we do. And um, this is from Omo Babameta. And he says, uh, what actually happened behind the scene? The reason why CCECC workers were allowed into the country and the, and the, minister, and the health minister has to do a charity welcome despite the fact that all borders has been closed. Well, you know, Nigerians don't know what to think because uh, uh, a month ago when this Chinese doctor came, uh, what the information we got was that they were coming into the country to help us curb the COVID-19. Since so these doctors uh, uh, came all the way from China and uh, they felt like uh, they have better experience of what it takes to, you know, drive out COVID-19 away from the country. But what we're hearing now is that like, we don't get, and even uh, the Minister of Health is saying we should not ask him uh, you guys let us know what you think in the comment section. Away from that, we move straight to Lade. Lade is training on Instagram. And uh, he's a public analyst, uh, public affair analyst. And uh, this is what he's saying, that any man who has an obscene amount of sex with a high 
number of women consistently over the years is a potential undercover gay man. Uh, being a name for uh, deviant is the gateway to homosexuality. It's why a lot of these trappers are gay. Uh, eventually, you get so tired of the vagina and you begin to explore uh, sex. You begin to explore sex is demonic when it is in excess. There's a reason why almost every pretty celebrity dude has a bunch of gay rumor clouding around him. It's not rocket science and you are in denial if you disagree. Well, uh, and I didn't make his own opinion. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, of course, so many people do not agree with him on what he said. And some people are like, how do you make you know, up those ideas in your head to say that uh, having a lot of sex eventually turn men into gay? Like, really, where are your facts and where did you make those research? And also, uh, the fact that uh, he's saying that um, sex is demonic. Well, when it's, it, when it's in excess, well, it depends on what you're saying because there are a lot of school of thought that do not agree with you on that one, Lade. Uh, so we'll move from Lade to Reno. Uh, if you know Reno very well, he's always giving nuggets on what men should do and what women should do. This time around, he came for women. And uh, some a lot of people are not agreeing with him on this one. But let's take what he said. And he said, being a baby mama is not a job. If you want an income, go get a job. And instead of getting pregnant, bringing a baby into this world without a marriage, a stable home and a stable income is a wicked thing to do. A child is not a means to a livelihood. He has a point. I mean, like, we have baby mamas all over the place. You know, yesterday we took uh, someone saying that a marriage is a setup and it's because of all of all these things. I mean, why are you going to bring children into the world and you cannot feed them? I mean, we're talking about mar our marriages right now and these are where they stem from. Like when you have lots of kids and you cannot take care of them and you feel like being a baby mama is a job. Well, he has a point and also uh, it's a one-sided thing because remem remembering that uh, the men too are also guilty. I mean, you get the women pregnant and you allow them to populate the entire universe. I mean, what are we talking about? And so, let's take some people's uh, response on that. And this is from Toby Loba and says, uh, let the dudes uh, to keep their manhood in their trousers. I mean, Toby Loba has said it. And says, everyone has a story to tell. Not all baby mama plan to be one. Circumstances made them one. Well, true too, some people fell into that bracket, like some of them are baby mamas as a result of maybe they were raped or some are baby mamas as a result of somebody promised that he was going to marry them and eventually did not marry them, you know, different stories so we cannot really judge, but if you know by all means that you can prevent this from happening, please by all means do that. And uh, this is from um, Osephanie Holmes and says, uh, it seems your heart's your heart focused your since your heart's focused on the ladies what about uh, these irresponsible men uh what did the female gender do to you well or say me like if you've been following up with reno you know he comes for the men and also for the women too so it's just that today it happens to be the ladies turn and um this is from other 94 she says I believe it's better than aborting the child. Well, she has a point too, uh, but still, if you know you can prevent having a child and bringing that child to suffer or to be a beggar or to be, you know, just putting that child in a very unfortunate situation, please try as much as you can to do that. Don't bring any child into this world and not and and you will not be able to you know raise the child properly or train the child. I think it's just so unjustly. To do that to any child and uh, this is from still to the blob antenna shout out to the hard working baby mamas who don't wait uh, for any man to meet the needs of their kids god will continue to bring your effort yes uh, there are some baby mamas who are sort of met with the wrong guys and those guys are what we call the deadbeat fathers and shout out to them who are running jobs and businesses you know to raise up their kids i mean they're doing great work and away from that, um, 
our African giant Bonaboy of plates has been bragging a lot. We don't know what's happening to Bonaboy. Someone has to take his phone from him. Well, it turns out that he has something to say. And I'll take what he said. He said, they said I'm worth $3.5 million. And there's a smile, there's a laughing emoji. And he says that that's when to even buy my cars. I might have to start doing some showing off. Now, nah, that's not me. I might just let you run with whatever your blog tells you. $3.5 million to I'm dead. Uh, fun fact, by the time I recorded All Eyes on Me, I was dancing around that 3.5 million level. Hmm. Let's take what people are saying because Bonner Boys Matter is a serious one. And uh, this is from Josh Bush, though, and he says, But well, Bonner Boy didn't used to talk too much before. <laughs> My guy, like really, he didn't used to talk so much, but I don't know what's wrong with him of late. And this is from Alicia, and she says, he said maybe he should start showing off, and that's not him. What's he doing now? Let me ask him. And uh, this is from King Gypsy. He says, when me, I don't have up to 5K in my account now. God, am I your husband? <laughs> this is really funny. But then, you know, it's fun about, I don't know what's wrong, our place has been, you know, seeing a lot of things, uh, you know, people have been saying that Bernard Boy has moved from being very confident to being overconfident to now being very, very proud. I mean, if you talk too much, the Bonner Boy army will come for you. So we really don't know what he's all about. But then, it's Bonner Boy, he's the African giant, what do you expect? So, mm, we're taking a very interesting one today on Bass Bulls. So, uh, a Twitter influencer, his name is Victor, but they call him Vlog, and uh, he said something and he cut a boost on top of that one. And this is Vlog saying, I'm sure I'm not going to marry an evil woman. Like, that's not happening. I mean, you're missing out. So, let's take this one from two aside. And he says, uh, Evil women are reserved strictly for the men who can. No, be every visitor, then they open champagne for. Hmm. And he says, some, some, you serve them hot sprites with cabin whiskey. Oh my God, like, you guys clap for that guy. Like, really? You know, it's okay if you don't want to marry a particular tribe, but like, don't put it out there. Like, uh, you know, there's something wrong with that tribe. Everybody has, every tribe has their uniqueness. And then this guy is like, don't be everybody that you wouldn't champagne for. That's epic. Like, it's true, when you go to people's houses, there are people they serve Coke and Fanta. There are people that they have to go and open wine for. There are people, you know, everybody get greed. Like, get greed. And, uh, you know, like the guy said, some people that they serve them hot sprites with carrying biscuits. <laughs> with carrying biscuits. Right, so they serve them chilled sprites too. Some of them, then they open the best wine, especially those ones where, you know, those ones that they will put uh, established in 19, so so they will tell you the story behind the wine. So that's just it. You need to be very, very, you know, careful as a visitor. You don't know what they're going to serve you when you're coming to the house. And you should look out for what they serve you when you go to people's houses. Maybe you're not even welcome. But on a lighter note, you know, it's just for you to know that uh, every um, person is unique. You know, people women are unique. Your body women are unique. House are women. They are all unique. People are unique in different ways. So if you say you don't want to marry a neighbor woman, that's up to you. Keep that opinion to yourself. Don't bring it out. We don't want to hear that. And that's all we have for you today on training issues. Remember that you can equally like, share, and subscribe on all our social media platforms showing on the screen. And if you want to find out more stories, uh, you can also go on our website at www.bankedngr.com. Till I come your way next time. Of course, my name is Precious Chippity. Remember to stay safe, stay clean, stay hydrated, and of course, thank you for watching. Hey, you know, you should not even know what happened yesterday. After school hours, when they ring the bell for everybody to close and go, you don't even know what happened. See, yesterday, after after they have closed, and I'll go to the staff room, and I say, you know, the auntie said we should buy new blackboard, and I went to contribute my money. As I now get to the staff room, and I see auntie, she's climbing that their big table. She wants to carry something from inside the chef, and I see that. And I see that auntie pint is showing. I say, hey, it's anti pint. If you see the pint is big, the pint is like, it's like, it's like best friend. <laughs> anti pint is so big. It's like Todd Miller Bridge. It's 
pregnant like the way she used to catch fish in all those old Indian village or the one they use in the Bible when they're not singing I will make you fishers of men. No ma, no ma, no ma, no, it's a ma, no, 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 it's, it's a ma that was telling me that there's one thing that God says today in the south, that in the fish, if you know the fish, the film is called Deep Blue Sea, that God shark and whale are fighting inside the film, he now asked me that if they want to catch shark, what if they will not see the way she use big nets, that the type of net, the way she look like some people pines, I not see that, and I just don't see if anybody pines. Listen, it's the one that is asking me how they always catch shark and whale. And I say you have to use a very, very big net to tie that they always use the Bible. If I let go punish me. No ma, no ma, no ma. I'm not telling the truth. And I let you that I have to find 